We are here at one of my favorite museums in all of Tokyo. This is the Teian Bijutsukan, and Teian means Japanese garden. And so there's a beautiful Japanese garden complete with tea house, but they also have a European design garden with more like flat beds. Uh, and it historically was the house of Prince Asaka and his wife, Princess Nobuko. And their story uh, is a really interesting one. Uh, Prince Asaka had been studying in France and he got in a really bad car accident in the 1920s and Princess Nobuko had to go over to take care of him. And so they were both there during the 1925 arts fair where basically Art Deco was unveiled to the world and they became huge connoisseurs. And so when they came back to Japan, they had this palace built for themselves and it was completed in 1933. And we're standing at the main entrance. So if you can imagine if you were invited to a party, you would have come up this beautiful sweeping lawn and seen this huge uh, modern home that you were going to walk into. And Henry Rapine was a very famous Art Deco artist and he was commissioned to design seven rooms in the house. And then another super famous Art Deco artist, René Lalique, was commissioned to do some glass artwork, like the, the doors that greet you when you walk in. And an interesting story about this family after the war, when America decommissioned the non-main lines of the imperial family, uh, Prince Asaka had to leave. And so this palace became the home of the Japanese prime minister. And then it was used as an official guest house. And then in the 1980s, it was converted into a museum. And while Prince Asaka had to leave the royal family, he actually, so he moved down to a, a beachside community called Atami, and he got really into golf, and he got into developing golf courses. And so there's actually a golf course in Hakone that was built in 1954 by him uh, that you can still go and visit today. So uh, he might have left his royal lineage, but he remained very prosperous.